Jessa Hao sa Creative Associate at Creative Nation Academy. And today, we will be continuing our writing for a new media lesson. If you haven't watched the episode 1, kindly check out our channel. Also, the link will be provided on the description below so you could guys check it out. Alright, as we've done discussing new media context, we will move to its platforms. You might be wondering, what else should I learn on these applications? I've been using them for years. However, using is different from knowing. And we might be an avid user of these platforms, but beneath their product or service offerings, what else do we know about them? That is what we will be discussing for today. Okay, before anything else, uh, I would like to show this saying again. If you watch episode 1, you might saw this, but please always remember, bear this in mind because it's a path to look forward to. Be a sponge and absorb as much knowledge as you can. You know, at the end of the day, to everything we do, we should make sure we learn. Okay? Now let's start. Together with the advent of technology, we should also be part of its innovation. You know, developing our skills in terms of writing and interacting with people, significantly those who are on the screen. Since today, everything seems to actually needs to be done online for safety purposes. So, to have a better understanding on what approach and which platform is best to use for whatever reasons, I will be discussing the top 5 most used new media platforms. Beginning with TikTok, did you know that TikTok is less than 2 years old but already received over 1 billion downloads of their video-based application during their first year of operation? Take note, today, TikTok reportedly sees over 800 million monthly users, which instantly places it amongst the top social media platforms in the world in terms of sheer user figures. Imagine these facts? It's crazy. I will be including demographics to each platform for you to know which place does the content best belong to. Okay, 53% of TikTok users are male and 47 are female. Roughly, 50% of TikTok's global audience are under the age of 34, with 41% are aged between 16 and 24. And also, 90% of users visit the app more than once per day, suggesting that audiences who use the platform are very engaged. Guys, kindly take note of this demographic because it will be your basis if you wanted to pursue publishing a content online. The content that works best on TikTok, of course, it should be entertaining, interesting, comedic, and sometimes nonsensical short-form video content, usually set to the tune of trendy songs. This is true because I've seen a lot of really doesn't make sense video, but still millions of people adore it, maybe because it's funny and kind of entertains them. So, you got to be really witty and fun into this platform. Next is Twitter. Twitter is a micro-blogging and social networking service on which user posts and interact with messages known as tweets. The reason why it is called micro-blogging is because each tweet has a limit, limited to 280 characters. Actually, before it was only 140 characters, but recently, they adjusted and made the user base to grow and reach over 300 million monthly active users. 
and 40% of those users are active on the site multiple times daily, suggesting that audiences who use the platform are very engaged as well. In addition, 63% of Twitter users are between the ages of 35 and 65, with males making up nearly two-thirds of those people. You know, this is interesting. Take note of this fact. Okay? Now, what contents that works best on Twitter? Twitter has become a very popular medium to communicate breaking news, digest bite-sized content, and communicate directly with each user in real time. You know, videos and images tend to stand out best, but a well-timed written tweet still works. Hopping on trending topics and are particularly witty. Also, don't forget to use hashtags. It is a way to be acknowledged, especially to those who have shared the same interests. Moving on to Facebook, I know we are all familiar to this platform. With nearly 2.85 billion monthly active users, Facebook is considered as the largest social media site in the world. Wow! 56% of its users are male while 44% are female. And the largest demographic group is between the ages of 25 and 35 years. The content that works best on Facebook. Alright! The more interesting engaging, or even divided into a series the content, the more likely it is to go viral on Facebook. Short videos, eye-catching images, and attention-grabbing headlines can also attract an audience. You also want to consider live streams and polls. Like these days, people are doing live selling where if you wanted to buy an item, just comment mine. That's how some businesses work this time. Alright, now let's move on to YouTube. YouTube hails as the second most popular search engine in the world today, right behind its parent company Google, reaching their more than two billion monthly users and did you know that YouTube is used by 55% of marketers making it the most used video channel for video marketing this is an example of how we can make not just YouTube but other variety of new media platforms as a way to reach a wide range of audiences and make a living from it but of course, take note of each demographics and facts so we could disseminate our content in, in the right place. Okay? The content that works best on YouTube. YouTube is a video-only platform. Depending upon your choice and who your audience is, both long-form and short-form video content can work very well on this platform. Most users tune for a combination of education and entertainment. So whether you're teaching your audience or streaming video gameplay, work hard to keep their attention throughout your videos. You might also consider tapping into popular YouTube trends like unboxing videos and with me content that takes viewers along with you for the ride. And now, finally, we have Instagram. Instagram is a photo and video sharing social networking service. Originally distinguished by only allowing content to be framed in a square or one by one aspect ratio. With over 1 billion monthly users, the gender mix on Instagram is pretty even. 50.8% of all Instagram users are female, while 49.2% are male. With 72% of teens use Instagram, 81% of people also use Instagram to help search products and services and take note. 
two and three people say that the network helps foster interactions with brands. The content that works best on Instagram. Beautiful photographies, stunning visuals, unique designs, selfie style video that speaks directly to your audience. And a cohesive team to your content will help you stand out on Instagram. By the way, when we say cohesive, the parts of the whole work fit together well. They are all complementing to one another. Okay, so there you have it. Top 5 most used new media platforms where we can start creating a content with. Just make sure to do one intensive research because there's more to learn and to discover. Also, before publishing your content, make sure it is well written. How? That will be reserved for our next episode. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can be notified as we publish episode 3. That talks about new media writing. I won't spoil anything but that will be very interesting and informative so stay tuned for that. Thank you everyone for watching and see you on our next episode. Continue learning, stay safe and God bless. Adios!